Aloha my friends, Christina here. I am at my local supermarket right now and in just a few seconds I'm going to take you inside and we're going to look at some of their juices that are packaged and processed. We're going to take a look at the ingredients, we're going to talk about them. One of the most frequently asked questions that I've been getting lately is why fresh cold pressed juices? Why do you need to juice your own juices? Why can't you just buy what's available in the stores? How are they different? How are they the same? So today I'm gonna to show you the differences. We're gonna talk about these ingredients. We're gonna talk about why they're actually not good for you, why they can cause problems. And we're gonna discuss the importance and benefits of fresh juices in your day-to-day -day routine. Cocoa's gonna help, of course. <laughs> Store-bought juices and freshly pressed juices that you make from home using a juicer are two completely different things. One can create a number of health problems for you and the other can help heal your body, not just your body, but your mind, your body, your spirit, so many things. So we're gonna dive into that today. Let's go on inside. So they're playing Celine Dion. This is very exciting. By the way, do you know how long it's been since I've been in a grocery store? So I've been growing so many of my own fruits and vegetables. And because I've been buying from my neighbors, I rarely have to come in a grocery store anymore. Okay, so there's a whole aisle dedicated to packaged processed juices. Let's take a look. This is a lot going on here, but we're gonna take a look at some. I'm just gonna randomly choose a few and let's start looking at some of the ingredients. It goes without saying that this section of kids' juices is probably the most unhealthy section and I mean this is something I definitely would change immediately if it's in your house like this is not juice at all this is something I would never drink or give any of your family members it's essentially just filtered water and high fructose corn syrup even something like Capri Sun the main ingredients are essentially concentrates and acids and natural flavors a lot of people think that V8 is a really healthy brand, but look at their vitamin C fortified, B vitamin fortified drink right here. Let's just take a minute to look at this. It contains bioengineered food ingredients. The ingredients from corn in this product come from genetically modified crops. Water, high fructose corn syrup, carrot juice concentrate, sweet potato juice, just so you know, the first three, four, five ingredients are basically what is in the bottle. It's sugar water. Welch's 100% grape juice. No sugar added and non-GMO, but from concentrate. Welch's Concord grape juice, which Welch's has a lot of different juices on these shelves, but Filtered water, Concord grape juice, high fructose corn syrup. Here we go again. Can we just acknowledge that since I've been in the store, I've heard Celine Dion, Whitney Houston, and now they're playing La, La Macarena. <laughs> I'm having an experience. Does anybody else just like jam out in the grocery store? Is this the part of their plan to get you to buy stuff? Hey. Oh my gosh, juicy juice. It's been a while since I've seen a juicy juice. A hundred percent juice. Let's take a look. What do we have here? It says 100% juice, but it's apple juice from concentrate, which for me is not real juice. And it's pasteurized. Pasteurized juice meaning that it's been heated, processed, and there's no live nutrients in this juice, basically. It's still essentially sugar water, 27 grams of sugar, even though there's no added sugars here. Campbell's tomato juice from concentrate with added ingredients. Tomato juice from concentrate, V8 low sodium, 100% vegetable juice. Vegetable juice, water and concentrated juices, natural flavoring, signature select, 100% vegetable juice from concentrate and with added ingredients reconstituted vegetable juice blend. They have a little section over here for the organic ingredients, 100% of these. Let's take a look at some of these. Cranberry juice, not from concentrate. 100% juice, 
just says cranberry juice. So this is pasteurized for sure, but not from concentrate. One step in the right direction. This is probably the best one I've seen on these shelves, the organic pure, not from concentrate juice. It just says organic carrot juice and organic lemon juice. Now it is pasteurized, which is how they've been able to get it on the shelves for so long, but it's the cleanest, this is the cleanest bottle on all of these and I've looked. Let's also take into consideration placement. They placed all of these juicy drinks by the breakfast foods and breakfast snacks. So it's like, you're basically junking yourself up with sugar in the mornings, right? This is what it looks like. And they've also put it by all of the, the GMO fortified cereals right here. Notice the placement of everything in grocery stores. This is important, right? You're more likely to grab certain things based upon where they're placed. And the combination of certain things can create really big health problems for you later down the road. Something else I just wanna point out to you is that I don't see any fresh green vegetable juices here. I'm sure we could find a refrigerated section to go see if they have some green juices. Let's go see what we can find. But most of these are fruit juices that are from concentrate, high fructose corn syrup, lots of added sugars, no natural ingredients. These could not be more different from fresh pressed juices. Okay, so I found the refrigerated juices over here. They don't have that many green juices, but they do have some fruit juices. So let's take a look at what they got. Most grocery stores that I've been in uh, have some fresh pressed juices. The store that I'm in right now actually does not have them. It's a very, this is a very conventional store. It's not a natural grocer, so Mainly what they have are things like kombuchas or uh, other juices that are pasteurized that I'm gonna show you right here. It's very hard to find cold pressed juices in some of your standard chains. Bolt House Farms, 13 servings of fruit, no sugar added. But when you look at the ingredient list, pineapple juice from concentrate is the first ingredient. Basically everything is from concentrate here. Nothing is fresh. Simply peach, peach, orange juice. I know they have orange juice as well, this brand. 17% juice, pasteurized, contains puree filtered water, peach juice, cane sugar, and natural flavors. I do not consider this to be a healthy juice. 100% natural flavors. Pure filtered water, high fructose corn syrup, juices from concentrate and natural flavors. I would definitely say 100% natural flavors. No, I'm just kidding. That's totally not what is advertised here. We're back in the car with Coco now. Yes, he is. All right, so let's go ahead and head home and let's make some fresh juice so I can show you the difference. So we are back from our grocery store run and I'm now going to show you the differences between store-bought processed pasteurized juices and making your own fresh, nourishing, nutritious, healthy juices at home. So I have prepared some fresh ingredients for us to juice today, but I first wanna point out a major difference and I really want you to feel into this. When we were in that grocery aisle and we were looking at those juices, remember that all of those ingredients were either pasteurized, processed, not organic, made using high fructose corn syrup, genetically modified, contained tons of added sugars, were highly processed, made from concentrates, and contained natural flavorings, and much more. There were no fresh ingredients in any of those juices and there were no fresh green juices available. Or if there were, I missed them. So we're back here now in my home space and I have prepared fresh ingredients for you. Real ingredients. I'm gonna show you how to make two different recipes right now. I'm gonna show you how to make an easy fruit punch, something that kids would like, something that's equivalent to a Capri Sun that we saw in the grocery store as well as a nutrient-rich, vitamin-packed, and truly healing, gut-healthy, basically everything in one package, fresh, delicious green juice. 
Already right now, I'm hoping you can see the fundamental difference between what's on this table and what we just saw in the grocery store. There are a few rules and do's and don'ts when it comes to making fresh juice. Typically, you wanna make your juices and drink them right then and there because the juices don't last forever unless they're pasteurized. You're meant to drink them when they are just pressed right then, when the nutrients are intact and when, when you can get the most out of them. They taste the best when you drink them fresh right then and there. One of the core differences that I want you to see is that what we're doing here is making a fresh juice. What we saw in the store was not fresh juice. Those juices in the grocery stores were sitting on those shelves for weeks or maybe even months. And before that, they were probably sitting somewhere else for weeks or months. Those juices were pasteurized and had preservatives, natural flavorings, things that keep them drinkable for a certain period of time um, to hold on the shelf. But fresh juices will only last for so long. Using a slow cold press juicer, they can last for up to three to five days in the fridge, but with most juicers, they'll last only a couple of hours. Another key difference is when you are consuming fresh fruits and vegetables, you are consuming a plethora of vitamins and minerals, micronutrients, phytonutrients, biophotons, life force energy essentially, when juicing raw, that is not available in processed, pasteurized items. This right here is life force energy. This is what we call living foods. This is one of the reasons why I believe in raw foods so fundamentally and why I've dedicated my channel and my life to doing this is because this food has life in it and it can be healing for your body. Drinking a pasteurized juice from concentrate that's been on the shelf for months is completely different to me than juicing fruits or vegetables in their ripe, raw, natural state, their organic state, and drinking them right then and there. They are more bioavailable to you and your body can use them as fuel. I do wanna to touch for a quick second on the importance of green juices. Now, everyone's always talking about fruit juices, but where I think the magic actually happens is in juicing a ton of those tender, delicious greens. We get so many good minerals from juicing our greens. And if you really wanna take it to the next level, juice herbs. Herbs are exploding with healthy nutrients that your body needs. A lot of people typically say, oh, well, don't drink fruit juices. They have too much fruit. My opinion on this is I would much rather you juice a pineapple, an apple, and a beet together than drink anything that was on one of those shelves in the store, period. Not to mention, there are nutrients available to you in the pineapple and the apples and the beets. There's vitamin C, there's vitamin K. There's so many delicious nutrients in these juices that you can enjoy. And I would much rather you enjoy a freshly pressed fruit juice than something that you purchase at the store. And if you're ever in question as to whether or not to drink a fruit juice that you make on your own, then simply add greens to it. It's very simple. You can always add in a ton more veggies, greens, herbs, lemons, limes, peppers, zucchinis, anything you want to a fruit juice to help bring down that sugar content and to enjoy a more savory juice. If I'm still not reaching you in terms of the differences between these two, I want you to go to the grocery store and I want you to stand in the juice aisle and feel how it feels. And then I want you to go and stand in the produce section <laughs> and see how it feels and see if you notice a difference, just a sensory difference in your body. For me, there really is a difference between being around a bunch of process ingredients versus being around a lot of fresh, locally grown, organic ingredients. There are a bunch of concerns that people bring up to me when I start this conversation with them or if they ask me about it. And the concerns I hear most often are, I don't have access to fresh juices. I wouldn't even know where to get them. I don't have access to the fresh fruits and vegetables that you have. I don't have a juicer. Juicing is expensive. What about the pulp or the fiber in these juices? So the first one is my grocery store doesn't have access to fresh juices. If that's the case, then search for a local juice shop near you. There are so many juice shops now everywhere where you can find some fresh cold pressed juices. Some of your local grocery stores or your natural grocers might actually carry some fresh pressed juices. Simply ask around. 
You can also use the app Happy Cow and that's a great resource as well. Secondly, for those of you who are looking to find the best quality fruits and vegetables or the best things to juice, one of the best tips I can give you is to first find your local farmer's markets and ask them what ingredients they have in season at that moment. What's in season is always the best to juice at that time. And secondly, find your largest chains, right? There are so many huge grocery chains out there that now carry organics and make simple juices. Find some organic apples, some celery, some lime, some spinach, and start with the most simple ingredients. There's so much more availability now than there ever has been. Use your resources. In terms of effort, yes, it's going to take a little bit more time and effort to make your own fresh juices, but in the end, it's worth it. The benefits of drinking a fresh juice are infinite, and nothing compares to this. This really is where it's at. When people tell me that eating fruits and vegetables are too expensive or that juicing them is so expensive, you know, I think it's an interesting argument because many of the people who I coach or who have approached me or who are in my inner circle um, come to me because they have severe health issues from all of the previous habits and foods that they were consuming before they found this lifestyle, the vegan lifestyle, the raw vegan lifestyle. And it is my perception that <laughs> Your health is your wealth, right? And I would much rather invest in my health and invest in feeling good than deal with a lifetime of health problems and have to invest in sick care. So many people out there are investing in sick care on a daily basis and not thinking to implement certain changes in their life that might be preventative or that might help them in the long run, that might actually change things for them. For me, this is absolutely an investment that is worthwhile. You, your body, your physical health is an investment worthwhile. And if you really want it, you can change some things around in your daily routine so that you can have some fresh juice on the daily. I am a big believer in the phrase, <laughs> Uh, if you really want something, you can make it happen. There's always different ways to save money on fruits and vegetables, bartering with your local farmers, growing your own food. There's so many different ways to do that. And lastly, let's touch on juicers. You do need a juicer to make freshly pressed juice at home. I have done so many juicer comparison videos. I've talked a lot about my favorite juicer, the Nama J2 juicer and the reasons why and when I say the type of juicer that you invest in is a game changer and can make or break your juicing experience, I really mean it. Because most people think to just buy the cheapest juicer they can find at a Walmart or a Target, and it ends up being a central fuel juicer. The juices don't come out tasting that good. The juicer breaks after 15, 16 uses or a couple of months and it ends up not being a savory experience for you, not to mention it doesn't produce that much juice and you waste a lot of money on produce and you don't get the best yield or uses out of your juice. You don't get the most out of it. So this is why I highly recommend a slow cold press juicer, one that has at least a 10 year warranty that saves you time and prep that's easy to load and to use and that gives you the best tasting juices with the the highest quality gives you the most nutrients, preserves the juices the longest, and also a juicer that gives you dry pulp, which is a key sign that you have a great juicer and you can use that pulp later on in other recipes. I'll include those juicer comparison links below for you and you can check out the Nama J2 juicer. I'll also include uh, one of the more recent videos I made on why this is the easiest juicer to clean. <laughs> literally takes me less than five minutes to clean this juicer and it can batch juice multiple jars at a time. As you can see here, it has a wide open lid and you can throw in whole ingredients into this juicer. Close it, walk away, and when you get back, it has freshly pressed juice made for you. This juicer is a no-brainer. It saves me time, prep, and so much more. It's my favorite juicer. For those of you who are interested in checking out the Nama J2 juicer, you can use the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout, and I'll include that link in the description below for you. If you're looking to get a new juicer, if you're looking to get into juicing, save yourself the stress of going through multiple juicers before you find this one. Just go straight to the source. It is worth the investment in your health, and I promise you will love this juicer. 
So let's go ahead and make some fresh juice. I'm first gonna show you my fruit punch recipe, which is so simple. Even kids love this juice. It's pineapple, apples, and a little bit of beet. If you really wanna spice it up, you can add in some lime in there as well. I love this recipe. It's sweet, it's simple, and if you don't want it to be as sweet, you can always add some spinach or kale or romaine or celery, whatever green you wanna add in there. The second juicing recipe I'll be showing you is a refreshing and remineralizing green juice recipe, and I'm using many of the ingredients from my garden to make this juice. You'll notice it's all green, totally savory. I've even got some herbs in there, some peppers, some garlic, ginger, and some spice. This juice has everything. It is powerhouse packed with so many minerals, zinc, magnesium, vitamins A, C, and K, and also folate, potassium, and manganese. You cannot go wrong with this green juice. And if you drink this green juice every day, it will become a healing remedy for you on so many levels. I drink 32 ounces of green juice pretty much every single day as my first meal of the day. So when ready, you can go ahead and chop up as much pineapple as you'd like. I have two pineapples chopped here and add them into your juicer. I'm gonna follow this with three to four apples and a half to one beet. If you wanna add a little tang to it or mix it up, you can always add in one peeled lime or lemon. Look at the beautiful color of this juice. Look how fresh and beautiful this juice is. You cannot tell me that this is the same juice that you saw in the store. This juice has a different life force to it. This is real juice, this is real food. It's not from concentrate, it's not made with natural flavors, it's not processed, it's not pasteurized. There are no added sugars. This is real juice. This is where it's at, right here. When ready, you can go ahead and pour this into any glass jar of your choice. My mouth is watering looking at this. This is a real fruit punch. I've just included this recipe and the green one in my app for you. If you're interested in checking out more juicing recipes, you can find them on my app, the Fully Raw app, available on iTunes and Google Play, and those links are below for you. Next up, we're making a mean green, remineralizing and very healthy green juice. When ready, go ahead and add into your juicer one large thumb of ginger, two peeled limes or lemons, one bell pepper, I'm using a green bell pepper here from my garden, your fresh herb of choice, I'm using cilantro, but parsley also works fantastic in this juicing recipe. Optional would be fresh garlic or even some jalapeno if you want to add some spice. I love adding garlic and jalapeno into my juices. Oh, such a great kick. Next up, you can add in either fresh cucumbers or fresh zucchinis, either one of your choice. I'm adding in five small zucchinis. And last but not least, I've chopped up two heads of celery and I'll add those into my juicer as well. Celery is so hydrating and rich in natural sodium. It is so good for you. When ready, you can pour this green juice into any glass jars of your choice. Now this is something we did not see at that grocery store. A fresh green juice is where it is at. This is life in a glass. You can't tell me that this doesn't look, feel, and taste different than anything else that you have tasted in a store before. For me, this is the ultimate juice. This is what juice is. So when I'm telling my friends to start juicing or when I'm talking about juicing, this is what I'm talking about. This for me is real juice. This is where it's at. And lastly, when people ask me about juice cleanses and if they can use store-bought juices to do a juice cleanse, my answer is usually an immediate no because those are not real juices. They're made using processed, pasteurized, and not fresh fruits or vegetables. Juice cleanses are meant to be done with fresh fruits and vegetables that will heal your body. I won't get into that too much right now, but I just wanted to address that for a quick moment. Mm. Yum, so good, oh my gosh. Mm. That'll give you some energy. <laughs> Green juices are my favorite. Cheers. Oh yes, oh yeah. This is so good. Oh my gosh. I could drink both of these right now. This is oh, so good, yes. 
I hope that you were able to see the differences between store-bought juices and freshly pressed juices. You can taste the difference, you can feel the difference, you can see the difference between fresh pressed juices and store-bought juices. This is real juice, this is where it's at. I hope this video has been helpful to you in distinguishing both of these types of juice. And if it has been helpful to you, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button because there is only more to come. And if I miss something, please include it in the comments below. One of my favorite parts about our community is that we love health and wellness. We love discussing these things and we're here to support one another on each other's health journey. So I just wanna say thank you for sharing in this passion with me. This is such a huge part of my life and I've dedicated my life to it because it means that much to me. So thank you for being a part of this with me. Thumbs up for real juice. <laughs> If you're looking to get a new juicer, please check out the Nama J2 juicer. It is the best of the best, the one I use in my kitchen. I love it. You can get $55 off by using the code FULLYRAW55 at checkout, and I've included that special link below for you. If you're looking for more juicing recipes, you can download my Fully Raw Vegan recipe app. There are more than 450 raw vegan recipes in my app for you. My app is available on iTunes and Google Play. The initial download is free, and then after that, you can choose between a monthly or a yearly subscription. Those links are below for you as well, and enjoy. All right, my friends, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you'd like more like it, let me know. I'm gonna go and enjoy the rest of these juices, and I hope that you get to go and make some fresh juice for yourself as well. Wishing you all much help and healing, and I'm sending my hugs and my love. See you in my next video.